Welcome to Electron Online. Talking about torque, we must also mention the torque wrench. The torque wrench is used to make sure we don't over torque something. What does that really mean? Well, it's not so much how much force you can apply, it's how much torque you can apply because it's the amount of torque that actually determines how tight you will actually tighten a bolt or a nut. Okay, how do we find out what the maximum force required is to apply a maximum torque? Let's say that we're tightening a bolt and the maximum setting should be 50 newton meters. We should not apply more than 50 newton meters of torque to that particular bolt. If we know that our torque wrench is 30 centimeters long, how much force will we need to apply to reach that maximum torque setting? Typically, the way a torque wrench works is if you try to apply more force, it will no longer tighten the bolt anymore. It will simply click through. In other words, it will not apply any additional force to the bolt to tighten it anymore. So we go ahead and write the equation down that the torque is always equal to the force times the perpendicular distance. In this case, you can see that the force is acting perpendicular to the position vector from the point of rotation to where the force is acting. So this would be the point of rotation, and this here would be the position vector. This would be your R vector, which is in this case the length of the wrench. So that means that the maximum torque can be found by multiplying the force applied times the length of the of the torque wrench, which means that if you want to find the maximum force, so this is the maximum torque, and if we want to apply, get the maximum torque, we need to apply the maximum force, so this becomes the maximum force. So the maximum force is therefore equal to the maximum torque divided by the length of the torque wrench. So in this case, that would be equal to 50 newton meters divided by the length of the torque converted to meters, which is 0 0.3 meters which means that goes in there, that would be 167 newtons. The maximum force applied to the torque wrench needs to be 167 newtons in order to accomplish the maximum torque when we tighten that bolt or that nut. And that's how that's done.